What up, what up, what up, Kryptonian Gaming bringing you guys another Division 2 build. In this one, I didn't have the pieces. Um, I had to farm for these pieces. And I pretty I got some pretty good ones. And I enjoy the original talents. But since the new update, they put the perfect behind it. And um, I enjoyed this build a lot. I enjoyed these talents. You know, I love this game. So I, I put you guys to build. I have two different weapons because I tried to build out with two weapons. And um, I'm gonna give you a little gameplay with one. And you can leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think about that first weapon that I use. And then the second one, um, it has one of my favorite talents on it. But for those of you who are new here, man, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date and receive notifications every time I drop a new video. Your support means a lot. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And thanks for tuning in. Let's get into it. So let me know down in the comments below what you think about the Eagle Barrel with this build. Um, I think it's, it works pretty well. I used another weapon with one of my favorite talents that worked a little, a little better. But you can get this Eagle Barrel from the Raid or the Incursion. Um, I got it from the Incursion. That's where it dropped for me. But this uh, Eagle Barrel has the talent Eagle Strike. Accuracy increases as you continue to fire up to 30%. Headshot kill strength, tenacity buff for 15 seconds. The strength of tenacity is increased by 1% for body shots and 5% for headshot. Tenacity, 40 to 80% of the damage taken is delayed until the buff expires or the total delayed damage is reduced for each enemy killed while the buff is active up to 100% with 3 kills. So it's a pretty cool weapon. I remember when this weapon first came out, everybody was hunting for it, everybody was going crazy for it. Um, but yeah, um, let me know down in the comments below what you think about this build. And uh, I'm going to show you the build right now. Look at the gunner. Look at the gunner, got a couple of things that you can use with this build. Like every third reload is 50% faster. Killing enemies grants 10% armor. You have 10% uh, weapon handling while not moving. And then you also have rate of fire increased about 5% on kill for 5 seconds. But I went with the sharpshooter only because I need the tactician drone to pulse my enemies because of my brand set. So it's a pretty dope build. Versatile like them all. But anyway, we're going to hit it off with the pestilence. And uh, it has the talent plague of the outcast. Hit supply the buff dealing 100% weapon damage over 10 seconds. It stacks up to 50 times. Whenever an enemy dies with this buff or stacks are transferred to a nearby enemy with a 25 meters. Now the assault rifle I used besides the Eagle Barrel was the Police M4. One of my favorite talents and this is also one of my favorite weapons. Fast hands. Critical hits as the stack. A 4% reload speed bonus max stack is 40. So that comes in handy when you're just dropping them and reloading and stuff. The card is just for show. It comes with an extra skill tier. Now, the brand set is Heartbreaker. If you rock two pieces, you get that 15% assault rifle damage, 15% LMG damage. If you rock three, it's 50% weapon handling. And if you rock four, you get the heart stop for headshot supply pulse for five seconds. Weapon hits on forced enemies at a stack of 1% bonus armor and 1% percent weapon damage to post enemies up to a max of 50 stacks now this comes in handy with the tactician so it's pretty pretty awesome and the 50 percent weapon handling if you're using the gunner you know it comes in with that also so you know it's, it's it's a good um build and something to build around to look into um now the chest piece is the henry i got the 10 percent status effect um, I wanted to use the Henry. I, I don't even know why I don't need the status effect on here. But only because this, the, the talent on the Henry is the perfect companion. 
While you are within 10 meters of an ally, all skill total weapon damage is increased by 20%. So that gives me 20% extra weapon damage. And then the backpack is the backbone. Ling, Ling Mo. I think that's how you pronounce it, but it got the 20% explosive resistance. I don't need that either, but I wanted it because of the talent on it. It's perfectly unstoppable force, which is an awesome, awesome talent. Um, killing the enemy increases total weapon damage by 7% for 15 seconds. That's up to five times. Grenade kills adds two stacks. Now, if you wanted to, you could take this backpack and throw on the bloody knuckles. And this grenade from the sharpshooter is the, the flashbang. So you get seven of these. This is like, I think this is the most you get out of the grenades. And when you throw that with the bloody knuckles, you'll get that extra percent from seeing red. 25% weapon damage from seeing red. So, you know, it's pretty cool. But other than that, this is the build. I'm rocking the turret, the assault turret. Just to stay next to it when I drop it and help me out on the battlefield. And then the tactician drone, which pulses my enemies to, pr to, to proc that heartbreaker. In that pulse so i hope you guys enjoy the build i got some gameplay for you guys i see you guys on the next one